Hello Sky News Facebook audience, I'm at Carshalton Boys Sports College in Surrey and I'm here with the founder of an online learning tool called Tassamai and some students who are using it right now to study ahead of their GCSE science exams. So I'm going to have a chat with Murray right now and, uh, and get, get the lowdown on how it all works. So talk to us about that. Well the idea is it's a way of students uh, learning the material they need to know for exams but rather than doing it the old fashioned way with textbooks and uh, just staring at it, hoping the information goes in. It's a way of practicing in the way that uh, an athlete would practice for a, for a for And a you are a former athlete, aren't you? With Which is why we're drawing comparisons here. We'll come on to your yeah. athleticism a little bit later on. If you've got a question for Murray or any of the students, and we've also got a vice principal here as well, Jenny, Jenny over there. If you've got a question for any of us, let us know. Put it in the comments section below. So the idea is just like a, like a musician or an athlete would practice a little bit every day and get immediate feedback on, you know, if they play a wrong note, if they, they hit a ball in the wrong direction, they know they made a mistake and they get the correction, they improve and they learn from mistakes as they go along. The same with learning for an exam. So we serve up the material in little multiple choice questions. We call them micro facts. As you do a question, it tells you, steers you right or wrong, tells you where you can improve and then it adapts the program to you. So everyone gets like a personalized coach telling them exactly you know, where they need to practice more. And a little bit each day goes a very long way and they master the material and, and ace the exam. So will you show us how it's used? Yeah, so the idea is you, know, you log in, you've got your dashboard tells you, you know, what you've been doing recently, how well you've been doing and where you need some work. So this student has got quite a lot of orange in their wheel. That's saying, all right, we need to, we need to do a bit of work today because we've not done much this week. So it's just simply, a uh, matter of starting a quiz and it starts serving up questions and it's going to ask me something that relates to what I've done before. Here's one, a, que a question that, I, that this student's got right before and we're going to see if I remember the answer. Um, but if I, if I just uh, have a go, oh, I've got it wrong. But then the next one's going to come back. It's going to just give me questions that will um, try to drill into where my knowledge is, where my gaps are, correct mistakes I've made recently, but every time, of course, I get something wrong it will tell me the right answer and give me feedback to help developing. So um, as students go through the course, uh, they get the programming adapting to them. So every question they do, right or wrong, starts to build in related material that sort of teach them the gaps they need. And all that data not only helps coach the student to, to master the material, but it also feeds back to their parents their teachers. Their parents? Yeah, so parents oh no. will get... Their parents see how they're doing as well. Parents generally want to help their students, help their children do better in their studies. So it's just useful feedback that's saying, hey, your, your son or your daughter is doing the work, she's on track, um, uh, but needs a bit more help in this area. That kind of helpful, constructive feedback really makes okay. a difference. Uh, so we're starting to get lots of questions from viewers. If you've just joined us, this is Murray. This is the uh, online learning tool that he has created. And here are some students having a go on it. So we're putting your questions to him now. Uh, Sally says, how do I get access to this? Well, it's a uh, web software. So uh, it's something that people can sign up to uh, just by visiting the website. But it's also provided by hundreds of schools around the country for GCSE science. So. Uh, if Sally is a student, she might find her, her school's already looking into it. If she's a parent, again, contact the school first because schools are, are buying into it in a big way. But otherwise, come to our website and get in touch. Got a question from Murray, for Murray. Oh, uh, great idea. Can it be rolled out for adult learning? Uh, in theory, yes. Uh, the, we, we like to think that TASPI can help anyone learn anything, but we're very precise about the content we serve on the program. So uh, we have programs for GCSE sciences and, and younger age groups and, and various different school subjects. If somebody wanted a specific course, we could design it for them. We, we built a course to help somebody do their aviation exams, for example, but uh, it needs the content really carefully curated first and that's one of the unique things about TASMI the content is really very closely linked to the to the exam requirements. Can we have a look at what you guys are working on? Can we have a look at how far or how well you're doing with these questions here? So Ryan talk me through what oh you're on a diffusion is the process by which and what are you, how are you about to answer that? <laughs> so I look through the question look at the four answers and if I know the question straight away from what we've been doing in class I'd click the answer that I thought was correct.
But if I wasn't sure, I'd kind of look at the runs that I knew were wrong and then work it out. And uh, on the on the right hand side, it shows me if I've gotten right or wrong before, so I know whether I should go with my instincts or not. So, what colour do you want to be aiming for on that surface? The whole wheel should be blue. Oh, it, oh, you're doing really well though. About halfway then. It's not bad. You pleased with that? Yeah. Um, as long as the wheel is green, that's kind of good. So. Okay. Excellent. So, uh, Ben, what are you looking at here? Um, I actually didn't read. What question are you uh, on now? Vaccination against microorganisms. Memory cells protect an individual by rapidly producing space when, reinfic mm. when reinfected with space microorganisms. Uh, so, mm. what are you going to choose? What answer? Um, I didn't actually <laughs> get, to, I didn't get to read the question. So. Well, if anyone can help Ben answer that question, uh, let us know. Put it in the comment section below. And, and Ronak, what are you on here? Are you enjoying that? Do you enjoy using Tassanai? Uh, yeah, because it I helps. I guess you're kind of under pressure in front of the founder to say yes, aren't you? Uh, it helps us to learn a lot. So it, You are finding it helps? Yeah. Do you not feel like it's an added pressure? I remember doing my GCSEs and everything was so stressful, and then to have one other thing to think about as well might have been a bit much. Um, this helps us revise so that if we don't want to do book work, then we can use a Tassanai and it helps us. All right. Um, I'm going to let you carry on with your quizzes. So I'm going to go and talk to your vice principal, <laughs> um, Jenny. Hi, Jenna. So we have a question here. Um, so this is from Jonathan, who mm -hmm. says, more home learning, <coughs> are schools about to disappear? Is this the end of days for teachers? Um, I really don't think so. I hope not, because I quite <laughs> like my job. I love my job. Um, we find that this really goes hand in hand with the, with the normal stuff that we do in school. So it's a way of helping students learn outside of the classroom, but in small bite-sized chunks. I think one of the biggest problems with science is there's so much content to learn and so many of the words are really unfamiliar to students. And like these boys have been doing their GCSE since year nine, and it really enables them to, to be tested on things that they may have done back in year nine. And it goes alongside the application of their learning in the classroom. So. Fingers crossed, we're not we're not yeah. dead in the water yet because actually we you know we spend our time in lessons applying the knowledge and doing the practical work and and really going deeper with the problem solving. Yeah. So this is just helping to give all of our students a basic core knowledge so that they've got all those familiar terms at their fingertips when they come into lessons. Does it help you identify who's struggling with what? Absolutely. So what what Tasmai does really well is produce a grid for us for the class, so I can see right down to individual statements in the scheme of learning and in the specification which students have got it and which students haven't so that I can really focus my teaching on the things that they need to do to make progress. Uh, if you've got any more questions for Jenny, put them in the comments section below. Uh, one here, is this really better than conventional studying? I think, it, again, it's not, I don't think it's better, it's just different. And our young people do a lot of work on, and do a lot of learning now on their mobile devices. You know, we're using Chromebooks here, but the boys use these on their mobile phones. I went to breakfast club the other day, they're all sitting around with their mobile phones doing Tassamai. And it's a way of them spending some time on the devices that they use every day. You know, we certainly, we still have textbooks here and we still encourage our students to do lots of writing, but this is just one other yeah, thing. Yeah, you were telling me that the yeah. exams are still, are yeah. still written, aren't they? Absolutely, yeah. So is that a struggle when a lot of the students are so used to using devices? Well, most of our boys can type quicker than they can write and they can certainly text quicker than I've seen any, anybody do anything. So it's really important to, to have, alongside using um, technology, to have the written word as well and to make sure that they don't lose those skills they're yeah. really important too right i'm going to head over back sure. to murray thank you we've got some more questions from viewers for you murray right. um sutha can you remind us the name of the app it's actually an online learning program isn't it it is so uh, an app is in the pipeline so we will have one quite soon an app um it, the the problem is that well the the, the software is so data heavy that's there's a lot going on behind the scenes we needed to do some quite clever engineering to turn it into something that could be used on, a, on an app but that isn't in the pipeline the program is called tasami that's spelled t-a-s-s-o-m-a-i it comes from greek it's it means i organize myself i put everything in order i take care of business basically so it's a it's a word about self-motivation organization and taking uh, and putting a, you know reaching your potential We've got so many questions here, but we'll just we'll take a couple more. Um, Sadiq, great app, he says. Can it be used worldwide since the materials are different in different countries? Absolutely. That's one of the great benefits of this form of learning is, is uh, for students. Uh, in, my, in my experience, actually, it was not so much worldwide as, as students who weren't in you know, large cities. They didn't have access to good coaching resources because you know, they live rurally. 
you can use TASMI anywhere you've got a phone signal. It's, um, it's, it's a, a, we have schools now in the Caribbean using it, and in Russia, one school using it. So, yeah, it can be used internationally. And Kathy says, this isn't a question, this is just a comment. Thank you for this, Kathy. My daughter is learning via the internet. No school at all. It's cheaper. Wow. No bus fares or uniform. Um, just let's revisit that sports ethic that we were talking about earlier on, because you're a former sports person, aren't you? That's true. Um, and and I, did that influence how you developed the app? Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I got into teaching working with students who were often unable to attend school, um, and that kind of one-to-one -one attention is very expensive. Uh, I was doing that partly to fund my own sort of fairly uh, average athletic career. Um, and th that's what struck me. Well, that was the sort of eureka moment, was I was seeing these students studying and revising with not brilliant technique, and at the same time, my approach to learning a physical discipline like sports or, or, or like music um, it, it showed me the way forward. How these students could better revise was to use those methodologies. So it all became about sort of smart motivation, about get goal setting a little bit each day and improving from your mistakes, exactly what I was doing in, in my training, and showing these students how they could be self-sufficient in their studies and, and get excellent results, even if they didn't have access to lots of teaching. Thank you. I think we're going to wrap this up here. Let's get another close-up on the learning program, that's TASMI, and you can see more and hear more about TASMI this weekend, uh, coming soon on Swipe, that's on Friday, Saturday and Sunday on Sky News, and thank you for joining us, see you again next time, bye. You can watch Swipe at weekends on YouTube, just type in Sky News Swipe, and why not follow us on Twitter, at Sky News Swipe.